Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Glory to the name of our Lord Jesus. This is another beautiful day that we are glad to be in the house of the Lord again. And as you're waking up, probably you are already waking up, you're preparing to go to your place of work. We began a series on Monday about God's dream for your life. We say we are looking at the five key relationships. And we began with first relationship on Monday, that is relationship with God. Yesterday we looked at the relationship with the world and we said the only thing you can do is to separate yourself from the world. And today we want to look at the relationship, that is relationship with yourself. And the only way you can relate well with yourself is to be sober in self-assessment. There are so many people who are not sober. They cannot sit and do self-assessment. But for a child of God, who knows that God has planned for him or for her, should always sit and do some self-assessment. How am I doing? How is my spiritual work with God? How is my social life? How is my financial life? You should be very sober in doing self-assessment if you're going to understand what God has in store for you. Today, I want to read for us some scriptures from the book of Romans chapter 3, chapter 12, sorry, verses 3 to 8. And follow what I'm reading because I'm talking about relationship with yourself. How you can relate with yourself. The Bible says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us as one body with many members and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we who are many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If a man's gift is prophesying. Let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Hallelujah. Relationship with yourself. The Bible is calling us into that sobriety, being sober in self-assessment. The Bible said, don't think of yourself so high, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, whereby you can just sit and say, who am I? What is my calling? What has God designed me for? What is the area of my ministry? And when you know your area of your ministry, you're not going to compete, to complain, and to be lazy. You are going to serve God in the area that God is calling you. This morning I challenge you, can you sober up and do some self-assessment and know the area God has for you? Because the Bible is clear, God has a dream with you and for you. It's a dream God has for you in your place of work, in that office, in that business, in that home. There's a dream God has for your life. And when you do your self-assessment, you realize, Kume, this is the area God is calling me. Let me pray for you. Even as you take time this morning to do some self-assessment, please be sober as you do that assessment. And you'll come out a very encouraged person because of what God is doing in your life. Let's pray together. Jehovah God, I thank you. I bless you again this morning for giving us an opportunity just to hear from you. You are calling us to relate to ourselves. And the only way we can relate to ourselves is by being sober in our self-assessment, in our judgment, oh God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that even my listeners are going to be sober this morning as they do 
their own self-assessment. You have released gifts. You have released functions in the body. May we identify the areas you're calling us to serve you, O God. Let's you and we worship you. In Jesus' name I'm praying. And the people of God say, That was the morning amen encounter. And amen. We are glad you. that you tuned God in. Keep you. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldora TV. Same place, Our Facebook same time page is Sidham Eldora. Share the Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldora. And Amen. our website is eldorit.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.